In this video, we'll write the balanced net ionic equation for Fe plus H2SO4. This is iron plus sulfuric acid. This reaction right here, the way it's written, is taking place in dilute sulfuric acid. So we have a more dilute form of the sulfuric acid, and that's why we get the hydrogen here in our products. So to balance the net ionic equation, we have to balance the molecular equation first. So I can see that I have these three sulfates here and just one here. So I'm going to put a three in front of the H2SO4. Now I have six hydrogens, but I could just put a three here and then two irons, just one here. Let's put a two here. So this is the balanced molecular equation. Then we need to find the state for each substance. Iron, that's a metal. It's going to be a solid. Sulfuric acid, that's one of the strong acids. It's going to be aqueous. It's going to dissolve and dissociate into its ions. And then sulfates in general are soluble. Iron three sulfate here, that's going to be aqueous. It'll dissolve into its ions. Hydrogen, that is a gas. So we have the states. Now we can split the strong electrolytes into their ions. This will give us the complete ionic equation. We can't split iron up, so we'll just write 2Fe. And I'll write the states later. For H2SO4, it's a strong acid, so it's going to dissociate into its ions. On the periodic table, hydrogen, that's 1 plus, And then the whole sulfate ion, that's always 2 minus. So we have two times three, that's six hydrogen ions, plus the three sulfate ions. And those are the reactants in our net ionic equation. For the products, we can't really tell just looking at the iron what charge it has, but we know the sulfate's always two minus. Since we have three of them, three times two minus, that's six minus. So we need a six plus, two times three plus. That'll give us a six plus and the net charge will be zero. So we have two of these iron three ions, two Fe three plus, and then we have three sulfate ions, plus we don't split gases apart, three of these hydrogen molecules here. So this is what we call the complete ionic equation. Now we'll cross out spectator ions. They're on both sides of the complete ionic equation. They haven't changed, so we're not really interested in them. We have Fe here and Fe3+. Those are different. Can't do anything with that. We do have, in the reactants, three sulfate ions right here, three sulfate ions. So we can cross those out, but everything else is unique, and that makes the net ionic equation for Fe plus H2SO4. Let me clean it up, write the states in, we'll have our net ionic equation. So this is the balanced net ionic equation for iron plus sulfuric acid. You'll note that charge is conserved. We have six times the one plus. So we have six plus on this side, two times three plus, that gives us six plus. So we have the same charge on both sides. And then if you count the atoms up, they'll be balanced as well. This is Dr. B with the balanced net ionic equation for Fe plus H2SO4 and the H2SO4 that's dilute. Thanks for watching.